guys, what's up? It's Ryan here from Ryan to Gaming HD, back again with another video of Dragon Ball Universe 2 on the PlayStation 4. So guys, today's the day. We finally get the uh, free update uh, that will be, uh, or that is released with, uh, or before Ultra Pack 1, because uh, there's always a free update just uh, before the paid update or paid DLC update. Uh, to more accurately define it is released so this is that update and I gotta say this is probably the biggest and the most uh, uh, how do I say it um, not as well. the most meta changing or like game breaking changes they've made to the game no pun intended since the inception of the game because uh, yes they have changed uh, skills many times before but this overhaul is like none other it, like not only do the skills get adjusted but the core mechanics of the game as well as cast character adjustments were made in this update which is insane now i won't showcase all of that in this video i'm probably not going to showcase all of them at all but i will showcase the most um noticeable ones and the most major ones um as experienced by me and many other players in the universe community so yeah there's that but first there's a special new transformation for saiyans which i'm pretty sure you guys already know but if you guys don't know, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you're going to see once we get on to the gameplay of it. So, I'm gonna, I want to start on this screen, so I don't want to miss any of the content that's about to be uh, thrown at, at us all at once. So, there's that. Let's log in. I did download the update. Now it's time to see what we have for the free update. Now guys, I do have the Ultra Pack 1 listed and available for purchase. So, um, now, I won't be, uh, probably doing content on Ultra Pack 1 until, like, a couple of days later, because I haven't, first of all, I haven't bought it, and second of all, I need to buy it, like, uh, even if I do buy it tomorrow, I do have kind of a busy schedule up and coming, so, uh, I'll try my best to upload them as, uh, in quick session in quick succession if I can speak as possible uh, but if I can't do understand that I do have a busy schedule uh, so there's that anyways enough about my life and regarding the updates of the channel <laughs> let's move on to today's video which is gonna be exploring some of the free things that they have uh, or free adjustments they've made to this game Okay, so we got our daily Zenny and TV metal rewards. Okay, so today we get no TV metal. That's weird. Anyway, oh, I guess I'm not on online, which is why I haven't got the uh, TV metal reward. Anyway, here it goes, guys. Version 1.13, which is the latest free update, or latest update in general for Xenoverse 2. Super Saiyan got Super Saiyan Evolved, or as we in the community call it, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, in short. Not really that short, but I mean, the closest thing to a, a short, um, an abbreviation, basically. So, the Saiyan exclusive, let's read the description. The Saiyan exclusive awoken skill, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved, can be acquired by any race. Speak with Instructor Whis after reaching level 95 or higher, maxing out friendship with Vegeta, and acquiring the awoken skill, and speak, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Alright, so we... I believe we have uh, met all those uh, agreements or requirements, so just check in the play data. And uh, where's Vegeta? There he is. See, uh, I've maxed out my friendship level with Vegeta, and I've also acquired Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue, and I've also uh, reached level 99. So we we are good to go. Uh, Vegeta is my current instructor just to show it to you guys I'm gonna uh, basically fly on over to this area and uh, wait sorry I meant to activate this but I forgot the go to get there faster and there you go <laughs> too weird 
even do. But it, but it is faster. So, so this is my current structure of Vegeta. So I just, what I gotta do is now uh, head on over to the mountainous area, I guess, and uh, talk to Whis to get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution uh, transformation, which is. And personally, guys, I love. I think I mentioned this in, uh, in the last couple of vid videos, but I mean, I love Super Simple Evolution. I mean, it is a standard um, upgrade in terms of looks and aura uh, than the regular Super Saiyan Blue, but I like it a lot more than Super Saiyan Blue because I like the darker blue shade they have on Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as compared to Super Saiyan Blue. And in my opinion, it really. Uh, it's really literally I think perfected Super Saiyan Blue because it looks so perfect like it's re weird to say this but like Super Saiyan like blue is my favorite color but I didn't enjoy Super Saiyan Blue that much I mean yeah I know it's weird to say but I mean I've always always loved Super Saiyan the yellow version basically Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 2 the rest I guess and Super Saiyan is basically my favorite transformation of all time like not even considering Saiyan transformations in general but I mean I never never really joined the hype train of Super Saiyan Blue that much I mean until Super Saiyan Blue Evolution came out which was like I was all for it man it was such like the aura the darker shade of blue that it, uh, that transformation has over the user like is insane like when Vegeta transformed like I was literally jumping up and down because it was so amazing Anyway, without any further talking or description of my perception of Super Saiyan Blue, let's talk to Whis and get, get, get that transformation. Mm -hmm. So Whis says, I had a feeling you would be coming by. I can sense your power has grown tremendously, the fruits of your training, no doubt. And now here you are in pursuit of even greater strength. Saiyans never cease to amaze me. Very well, I shall share you with the secrets of an even greater evolution. We got Super Saiyan, got Super Saiyan Evolved, or let's just call it Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Okay, now continue in your training and in your pursuit of greater strength. Beautiful. All right, so guys, let's equip this uh, to our Cascat, to our CAC, and then see how it goes. Oh, I haven't changed that skill. Uh, what? What skill can we take? Uh, I'm gonna test some things out. Uh, why not? Uh, let's let's just find an explosion. Why not? Uh, as for my uh, not my invasion, for my transformation, I'm gonna take super simple, super simple, super simple evolution. I'll call it that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep saying this stupid, ridiculous, long, long ass name forever. <laughs> anyway, super simple evolution. Surpass your limits to protect those close to you. You will become more powerful than Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Proof. My god. But we'll also use much more key. Alright. So it uses 500 key to transform, which is basically the standard amount of key, like uh, a big transformation cost, like potential only, Super Saiyan, Blue, and right now it's just, as we see Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. So, guys, let's head on over to the training ground and see what this transformation is all about here we go off on that one training all right now guys after i've ex uh, uh, explained uh basically the uh or showcase Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Now, I'll move on to some of the major changes that I was mentioning earlier in the video. So, here's my cast character, or Saiyan character, whatever you want to call it. I'll use him. And, oh, these are the raid characters, basically. Mira, Final Form, uh, Fusamasu. You know what? Let's pick them. Uh, let's pick, um, huh. Who should we pick? Actually, let's pick Jiren. That'd be more appropriate. I wish we had Toppo, or Top. A little English dub, but I mean, uh, just appropriate too. At long last. Uh, let's go to Tournament of Power Arena. A little more fitting because Vegeta, uh, 
Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta did face off against Jiren, so it's appropriate in that sense. Okay, I'm so excited, dude. Let's see what this transformation animation has to offer. All right. All right, let's move all the displays to truly uh, witness the true beauty of this transformation. So, see your display, hide all. All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Whoa, that is sick, dude. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. You can even see it's shaded with, like, the aura has much of a, uh, a more darker f a shading and uh but like basically a more deeper effect of in like engraved into the character's aura like natural aura while uh the uh super saiyan blue the normal super saiyan blue transformation doesn't have much impact as this uh super saiyan blue evolution transformation does and look at the darker shade of blue on the hair and then even the uh even the pants look at the uh outfit and the uh, basically the uh, shoes they all light up like basically in uh and basically like helps highlight the transformation even more in my opinion it's amazing all right let's let's test out uh the damage and see how much of a difference uh it does make when we transform and when we tra change from base to super Saiyan blue evolution so we'll put all not really, uh, let's see. Display. Input. Actually, no, no, no. What am I doing? <laughs> anyway, display count. Yes, alright. There it is, okay. So, let's, let's let's do the basic combos with the same character. Uh, while being base first, and see how much damage he does. <laughs> So guys, that was the all light combo with the base character, with the base form, and it does a total damage of 3,655. Now let's transform the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and see how much that that same combo does. Damn, so beautiful! Wow! So it went from 3,655. Oh, whoa, the speed too is insane. Holy crap. But damn, like, look at the key drainage, dude. It's literally taking, like when I'm not in motion, I mean, uh, now the in the training mode, it's set to uh, auto recovery in terms of key. But uh, when I fly, it's not recovering or when I move around. So you can truly see how much sta uh, key it drains, like even faster than you can just move. Holy crap. You really have to use skills, I mean, super souls and skills pertaining to like stopping or reducing the amount of key drain to really maintain this form over a long period of time, like meditation and like the super soul. I think fuse one is great, uh, which is which allows you to regain key, I think, when you're above a certain amount of HP, which is certainly good. Uh, I, think, I think that can offset the key drainage pretty easily I mean it, it worked with Super Saiyan Blue I, I, I imagine it would work well in Super Saiyan Blue with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as well anyway so let's move uh, let's move on to the all triangle combo first the base right, 3653 let's transform now let's do the same combo and it does 5,679, so almost, almost, uh, yeah, like almost 2,000 solid more damage. Insane, dude. Alright, so let's, they did nerf Super Black Command Mare and reduce the damage because it used to do a lot of damage for being a 3 bar move. So, we'll test that out now. Well, so first of all, we'll do it in base and then we'll do it in, um, in Wild and Super Simple Evolution. No. Yeah, they did, they did nerf it. Yeah, it, it does a lot less damage than it used to. So 7,162 while in base, let's transform. Alright, so let's do Super Lucky Man now. 9,688, which is 
a considerable jump from 3,000, I mean 7,133. So that's nice. Now let's do final explosion while in base, and then while in Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. <laughs> Keep on holding the button. Alright, it didn't kill him. Even though we used all of our stamina. So, I'm pretty sure Abushin Wu uh, transformation can easily kill him while doing that, performing that ultimate. But look at the damage 25,000, holy crap. It does, take a lot, it does take all of your stamina, but I mean, it's kind of worth it, dude. So, let's transform again. Oh, so beautiful. I think I will just equip this just to like witness the beauty of this, uh, beauty of it, like all the time. Like it's so sick, dude. Holy crap! It might, it might just be my favorite transformation in the game. I think it is. Yeah. Look at that beautiful aura, dude. It's insane. Anyway, so let's do this final explosion with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution uh, transformation. Damn it! I'm not doing it. Top of top. Of top. I mean, of course not. Holy crap! I stopped because I wanted to see how much stamina I could save even after killing him, and I think I saved like two or three bars of stamina. Let's, let's try it out. Let's try it out again. Wait, wait a second, guys. Alright, almost two bars of stamina can be saved even after killing your opponent. I mean, why would you even want to save your key? But I mean, I mean stamina after you're killing your opponent. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. Because in case you don't kill the opponent, give to some super soul, you can, you know, see how much damage your opponent can do. Final exposure can do. Let's see what's the total amount of damage it does. Does it go like when the kid, when the opponent dies, does it like add on the damage or does it stay capped like that? Let's try to go. Let's try it out again. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. It totally does cap it out at twenty-six thousand. What if? What if I? Make it, make it so the health is unlimited. Yeah, yeah. This should be better. So we can see the true extent of final explosion in Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. So um, in base, it didn't kill him, which means we got the full damage out of it, which was I think 25,710. Um, 25, and let's see how much it really does in Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. <laughs> Holy crap, dude! 34,823! Wow! Holy crap! It did like 9,000, almost, I think more than 9,000 damage, dude! Oh my god! Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it does have the key for, I mean, key issue, but yeah, it does also the same amount of damage. So, I guess, it is worth it. The loss. These, these combos still king, and it still does about 16,000 damage. Let's see how much this combo does in base. Wait. This is a pretty popular combo you can see. And my channel, like, a lot of times before when I do parallel quests, uh, we drop from 16,000 to 12,000. So it's like a whole 4,000 damage added after transforming to Blue Evolution. So, yeah, safe to say, dude, I love this transformation. Like, look at this. It's insane. Love it, dude. Yeah, man. I'm a huge fan. I know, I wish it didn't have the key energy issue, but I mean, it's worth the damage it outputs, I guess, it it, it, it makes sense to nerf it a little bit, because if it doesn't have some drawbacks, then, like, you know, no one would use other transformers, like the transfer Unleashed, or, uh, I mean, the regular Super Saiyan Blue, I mean, you could totally use the regular Super Saiyan Blue, too, 
unless uh, if you want a bit less like uh, heat drainage per time tube, I guess. But yeah, there's that. That's my two cents on Super Simple Evolution. I love the transformation. I love the look. I love the design. Um, I wish it didn't have any drawbacks, but I mean. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> you all know this. So they had to nerf it, I guess, to satisfy themselves. Anyway, so there's that. Now, guys, let's move on to uh, some of the more important changes that came out. Uh, now, guys, every single one of the cast characters got insane stat buffs. And basically, ba you can even use characters like um, Cyberman now. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird, but you can use characters totally. Like, you can totally use characters like Cyberman, then uh, you can use the Freezer Force Soldiers for others. Uh, here you go, Raspberry, Apoll. You totally use these guys because they have good stats now. Like, and they have been adjusted like on a wide level, so I think almost every character is great. Except the OP ones or those who didn't need a stat buff like the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, I think. Or some some characters like Blue Goku, um, the stats basically were unchanged and those who needed buffs got their buffs. And now guys, this is like one of the most requested things I wanted from this game. And it came out in such a late time, I, I really wish it came out sooner so I could do this, like, you know not have to use my CAC in every little on every of the difficult or long parallel quests that is that the basically so the change is that uh, every cast character is also stronger in parallel quests so guys if you played Xenoverse 2 before the subject came out you would notice that um, cast characters never had did um, uh, decent damage not decent I mean but enough damage to complete the mission as quick as possible because uh, I guess they had restricted their damage output uh, in parallel quests um, that which is why we always have to use our CACs like Saiyans, Freezer Ace, Earthlings and stuff like that and characters like that basically so now we can use any character we want and as long as they can do the job as fast as possible then we're good to go basically what I'm trying to say is we can pretty much use any of these characters and hope to complete the parallel quest in the time of uh, uh, in the time uh, allotted basically in time basically what I'm trying to say anyway um, now guys this like this character got like I don't think a single character has got this much attention and this much change. buff. I mean, he's got one nerf, but the amount of buffs he got is like insane. Which is basically Ultra Instinct Goku. Now guys, before this update came out, Ultra Instinct Goku was the pure definition of a glass cannon. What I, what I mean by a glass cannon is you can deal hits insanely well, but you can take you cannot take hits at all, which is what this Ultra Instinct Goku literally was. You could deal insane amounts of damage, but your stamina recovery was pure garbage. Your tanking capability was pure garbage. You couldn't take any hits at all, and basically, your uh, basically uh, you would just dodge when you didn't want to dodge. You couldn't do attacks while you're dodging, so which made it, uh, which made you stuck in a combo so your uh, stamina would uh, basically be depleted automatically and then your opponent could just wipe you up with one combo but now he's gotten all the buffs necessary and the only nerf he got was that when he dodges now he consumes a, li a, bit, a little bit more stamina but in return he does more damage his ultimate godly display does even more damage than he did before which even before this update came out, it was already one of the strongest ultimates in the game when it comes to like single, uh, basically character exclusive uh, ultimates. And he basically um, has air, like normal uh, uh, stamina recovery that every other cast members have. 
uh, early he uh, before the surgery he didn't have it, have that he used to recover his stamina really slowly and um, to the point where you would have to like stand there to even like stand for like 10 seconds to gain a bar which is like not good at all but now he should be on the on par his stamina recovery should be on par with other cast characters and he um, yeah, I mean, what, what do I really need to say? Oh, and it's Super Soul. It, uh, this Super Soul was really good, but the problem is it used to activate at such a low point in his health. He already used to take like a lot of damage, and the fact that this Super Soul I think activated like when he had 10% health, which was pure garbage because you couldn't really utilize the Super Soul because you were already dead by then. But now this Super Soul activates when your UI Goku reaches a 50% health or below so now you can, and since this Goku now takes regular damage instead of increased damage like he used to you can take advantage of the Super Soul and you know gain stat buffs and stuff so I'm gonna showcase some of that uh, uh, some of the buffs he got with uh, uh, in this training mode so, so let's pick UI Goku uh, uh, let's see who can we pick why not Mira? Let's make this a good fight. All right, so let's go to a different stage. Uh, let's go to where the let's go to an arena where there is ground. So yeah, we'll go to wasteland. Wasteland's perfect because in space there is no ground, so you can't really test the uh, true like the the basically the high speed of rec recovery of stamina. Because you recover uh, stamina the fastest while you're on the ground. Oh, oh, um, his surging spirit, uh, charging, um, basically key charging move also recovers your key a lot faster than it used to before. So let me show that to you first. Uh, let's go to key, let's turn it to normal. And I think that key is coming on the nod. Let's see. Let's test out how fast his key recovers while using Surging Spirit. Oh my god! Holy crap, did you guys see that? Holy crap, that was fast. So basically what I think the what they uh, changed about this uh, key charging ability or move is that you start with like minimum like with a very slow amount of key recovery speed but as you charge longer or the longer you charge the faster the key, reco key recovery speed becomes so basically i'll show that to you guys again now um uh, wait let's uh wait for the We're gonna do this one more time. Just watch on the key recovery meter. It'll start off like regaining key in a very slow amount, but then it'll jump right back up and go even faster than maximum charge used to charge key. So then, slow, slow, getting up key. More fast, faster, 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 and you're basically done charging key. All set, nine bars of key. Yeah, that's insane. It's so fast. All right. So let's test out his uh, stamina recovery now on the ground. So let's make it normal. Uh, stamina is normal. Alright, so let's use the laser. Now let's test out the stamina recovery on the ground while on the ground. As you can see, basically like every other cast character is normal. No there's no reduced stamina recovery just because you're also in six go. What you say. Now, I'm actually excited to use them in Parallel Quest now. Especially since uh, their the stats, or the true stats are not blocked from Parallel Quest. And the fact that you are going to got some major buffs is really insane. Okay, uh, now let's check, uh, let's check out how much damage he does now. Uh, I don't know the damage he used to do before, but I mean, it should be a... I can gauge, uh, I can gauge somewhat uh, in terms of how much damage he does. Because I think it's combo. So let's do uh, the basic combo first. Nice, 2814. And oh, okay, guys. Before I um, move on to more damage scaling showcases, 
uh, let's um, test out how uh, the fact that I can actually attack while I'm dodging uh, and re using up my stamina. So we'll let the enemy or mirror hit us. New basic attacks basically. So uh, where is it? Same settings. Keep you status. Uh, just basic attack. Strong. Right. See, oh my god. Did you see? The, the amount of stamina you use for dodging is insane. Dude. You like you almost uh, lose one bar of stamina when you dodge now. Wow, that's insane. Okay, now let's see if we can attack while dodging. So uh, let's let's turn the uh, stamina recovery to uh, unlimited, and let's keep the AI as, as strong. So let's see. Yep. I can attack while I'm dodging. That is insane. As you can see. Okay, I can dodge through this type for obvious reasons. And I'm told. He got me in the frame because I was able to hit me. Now he can. Okay. Come on, hit me, Mira. Okay, that's weird. Why couldn't I? I couldn't. I couldn't do this move for a second. I don't know what happened. I think it was a glitch or a bug. Okay, as you can see, I was able to hit him while I was dodging. Then he still can to the other way. And see, as you can see, the ultimate stage should be so accurate uh, at a much more reasonable point in his health uh, draining. Kamehameha does a lot of more damage. Dude, look at that combo. I didn't even. I don't even charge Kamehameha. Holy crap, dude. Okay, let, let's. Uh, it's getting a bit ridiculous. So I'm. I'm gonna get set the stamina to normal. I need to re relearn his stamina base. I know it's, it's pretty easy, but I, mean, I haven't played with you I was in like forever. Okay, so I think it's 5 wide into a stamina break. Yep. And what, 6 wide all as well? No, 6 wide doesn't work. How about 6 wide into a heavy? That should work. Yep, he's fighting to and he does. Does that work? Wait, let's check that out. Okay, yeah, that's a big thing. Okay, I hate that thing too. Holy crap. Alright, good dodging on the two other things we have. Alright, Mira, kill. Okay, and to get the bus is wrong, guys. Yep, it works. Six light into a heavy and then a stamina break. You can do a seven light into a heavy and then a stamina break as well. Let's test that out. Let's uh, let's set him standing to make this showcase a little easier. This is getting a bit out of hand. Okay. So it's seven light in the heavy, right? Yeah. Wait, yeah. I've got to set him to standing. Oh, sorry. Normal. Sorry about that. <laughs> Guys, uh, I'm going to set him to standing. Here you go. 
So that's seven lights, right? So seven lights into one heavy into a family. As you can see, it works perfectly. The combo you can do. Let's see uh, what uh, combos you can do with a charge triangle. Just got me this play. Let's see the amount of damage. Okay. Oh my god! Did you see the jump of that ultimate? What? Oh my god! Holy crap! Chill, you wanna go? Let's see how much damage it does, Raw. Pause. All 10 bars. Damn the amount of damage. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, so it doesn't take more stamina. I forgot how this skill used to work. Because I thought it would take more key when I, uh, you know, uh, did it from a, a far, you know, from uh, while I was in long range instead of being close to him. Because when you're close to him, you don't you do the vanishing part. Uh, but if, when you're far away from him, you do vanish towards him, and then you basically do the ultimate. I think we did crash them not too. Let's check it out. Damn, the, I think the effect after the, after the knockover is good. It's good. I mean, it looks good. I'll show it to you guys again. Oh, okay, so you can also charge it to a limited amount of time now. I don't think it was a feature like that before. I think you, 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 could, you could like charge it to like it drain all of your key and then then that it would stop but i think now they've restricted that i might be wrong on that so don't hold me accountable don't hold me accountable for it because i don't remember it completely anyway guys um, one of the um uh basically the more important changes include like uh, adjustments to like broken skills like fake death then uh what was that uh uh what was it fake death then i think a lot of the moves I just can't think on the top of my head because those got a major nerfs like which was needed basically. Or oh, I think uh, some of the uh, more character cast exclusive ones where, where uh, especially if you use trunks when you do a grab and then you, you could just fly up towards your opponent and do an unvanishable stamina break. Your opponent couldn't do anything about it unless you used an evasive. Which I think, yeah, you can just use an evasive but if you're doing that stamina you are, you are defenseless. You couldn't even uh, Z-vanish out of it. So, but now you can, so that's great. And our male earthlings also have all um, unvanishable, but you can vanish out of them now, which is a pretty amazing. And then, uh, what I heard is that, what were the skills again? Fake death, and let me see if I can remember them after I see the skills. <laughs> sounds pretty weird but I mean yeah there's that but I mean some skills got unnecessary buffs like fake blast I think got reduced cost and stamina which is like it was already a broken move before like you know the coolers uh, basically being sort of a fake blast where they just blind your character and then they go do a stamina break so yeah that got buffed then some skills like sledgehammer and big tank command Maya, they also do more damage down they already used to do insane amounts of damage but now they're just Broken, like broken beyond belief. So let's see if I can remember the uh, skills basically, which got uh, are the basically the OP skills or the more broken skills that got uh, basically nerfed. Let's see. Uh, okay, perfect shot did get a nerf on its damage because it used to do a lot of damage before. But no, it doesn't do as much as it used to. And, um, what was it? Uh, sorry guys, I don't remember the uh, exact names of the moves that got nerfed, but I think, but they were like, basically they were used by everyone in the meta before because of how broken they were. People didn't care. 
they were just used to using broken skills and that's why they used to use them but now it's they're gonna be used a lot less since they're a lot less useful or a lot less broken now so oh, oh yeah one of those changes is aura slide which basically I think does less damage with the when you're basically doing uh, the infinite I think used to do that before but I think they changed something about it now which is I think it does regular yeah, yeah I think I remember it now it does regular damage when you're only doing the normal part of the aura slide or I think more damage but when you do the infinite loop it stays as it was before when it got updated or patched uh, that uh, you would do less damage basically with it so basically it's usable but it's not broken which is great I wish that would that was the case for every single skill on this list uh, see if I can remember the, remember on the top of my head of some of the skills uh, fake death as I mentioned uh, okay cross run dive nope I remember that getting the nerve super god fist right super god fist this used to be such an annoying move by the opponent could super god fist and, and I think savage strike both got nerves uh, uh, due to the amount of recovery frames your opponent's got because Basically, if you did a Super God Fist or a Savage Strike, your opponent would literally have like no, like would be in, stuck in such a long recovery mode that you could literally fly up to them and start another combo and then do the, do the uh, Super again or Super God Fist or Savage Strike and then you could just do an infinite with it and your opponent can do anything about it because the move was so fast and you could catch you even when you're a step vanishing a lot. So yeah, those are some of the skills that uh, uh, popped up on the top of my head which got nerves uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description below uh, all the patch notes for what whatever that was changed in this update as a whole and uh, you'll basically find the shout outs to the, the guys who translated uh, all of those patch notes in the post itself so yeah there's that yeah there's that guys I think we've covered uh, almost the majority of things that changed with this other oh I almost forgot partner the partner customization got a huge buff in terms of the character stats so basically every a single character in part, a part basically in partner customization used to have like really bummed down stats uh, which I didn't know why even was a thing in the first place like they should have better if not like the same stats as they do on the cast character so uh, now they have a lot more stats and what I heard is some characters like are reaching insane amounts of health and damage like Broly like he I think Broly had like um, like two bars of health before now he's like three or four bars of health now uh, due to the partner customization thing uh, or the update to partner customization so there's that and basically there's that so we've covered pretty much everything there is about this update except ultra pack one concept which is basically i'll be covering which uh the three characters super saiyan god vegeta super saiyan blue evolution vegeta and Rebrian. and the skills of course when i do farm them or grind them and get them of course and of course the parallel quest showcase of course that's basically the root of the channel anyway that being said guys like the video if you like it, share it with your friends, and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the near future. That being said, it's Ryan here from RNT Gaming HD signing off and bidding you guys farewell until the very next one. Peace out guys. Bye.